Hello, helpful herbivore friends. Now, you know I love my Tabitha Brown, and not only have I been flying through her book, Feeding the Soul, but she has recipes sprinkled throughout the book. And let me tell you, her vegan tuna salad is amazing. It's simple and absolutely delicious, so I'm going to double the recipe. Now remember, Aunt Tab cooks with her spirit, so there are not going to be any measured ingredients. She just kind of eyeballs things, so you'll just have to season the taste. Get ready for some yumminess, and let's jump right in. You will need two cans of garbanzo beans, drained. Then use a fork to mash into a tuna-like consistency. Next, add some chopped purple onion. Put the mixture in a blender and lightly mix. You want to blend it well, but you don't want to have any huge chunks. Return the mixture to the bowl. Add some sweet relish. Then add some vegan mayonnaise. We like to use veganaise. You can add a little mustard, but I like it better without, and you know, that's okay, because according to Tabitha Brown, that's my business. Next, add some dill, either dried or fresh. Now, Aunt Tab doesn't add this, but my mom always adds some chopped celery to her tuna salad, so we're gonna add some of that. Then you can add some furikake, which I actually don't have, so I'm just gonna chop up some of these little seaweed sheets. Now add a little salt, a squirt of fresh lemon juice, now some black salt if you have it. It just kind of gives it more of like an egg-like flavor. Now stir it up and enjoy with some crackers, celery, carrots, or even in a wrap or in a sandwich. And it is really just that simple. Aunt Tab, thank you so much for being you and just keep up the awesome work. I absolutely adore you. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, so good. And I'm so happy that I made a double batch because my husband loves this, so it's gonna go fast. As always, I have some amazing sweet souls that are looking for their forever homes that cannot wait to meet you. So let's go. Mm. This is my friend Goober. Goober is nine years young and he comes by his name, honestly. Um, he loves all dogs and all people. He's just all around a sweetheart. Um, he will dip his paws in the pool now. To be clear, not at a swimming level. Just his little paws, that's just his thing. But you've got to come and give Goober his happily ever after. Everybody needs a Goober in their lives, don't they? I your Goober. Look how sweet. Gentle, so gentle. Thank you. He's so sweet. 